Hello, my name is Akito. Today I'd like to teach you how to play Whenever You Are by One O'Clock. That's a Japanese rock band. And if you're interested, please learn this song. At the end of this video, I made the tutorial how to sing this song in Japanese as well. So, please check out that one as well. I'm going to explain what this word means and also how to pronounce the word exactly. So, yeah, please check out. So let's get started with the chord tutorial. The first chord you need to know is A sharp. With a point finger bar the first fret. And with your middle finger, it should be on the second fret of the third string. Your link finger on the third fret of the top string. If it's too hard for you, then you can play like this. Instead of bar the first fret, you can place your point finger on the bottom two string of the first, first fret. That's better if you want. I'm accustomed to play this one better than this one, so I play it like this, but you can play, totally play like this. So next chord you need to know is A sharp A. This one, with a point finger on the first fret of the second string, with a middle finger on the second fret of the third string, with a link finger on the fourth, third fret of the top string. So that's A sharp A. The next chord is D minor this one with a point finger on the first fret of the second string with a middle finger on the top string of the second fret and with your link finger on the second fret of the third string so that's the minor next chord is the sharp this one with a point finger on the first fret of the first string with a middle finger on the third fret of the third string with your link finger on the third fret of the second string so that's the sharp the next chord is D, ma D sharp minor. This one. With a point finger on the first fret of third string, with your middle finger on the second fret of the second string, with your ring finger on the third fret of the third string. So that's D minor, sorry, D sharp minor. So it's basically one lower version of E minor. Okay. Next chord is F. Put your point finger on the first fret of the second string. With the middle finger, it should be on the second fret of the top string. That's F. And the next chord is F suspended four. With the point finger, it should be on the bottom two string of the first first fret, and with the middle finger on the second fret of the top string. That's F suspended four. Yeah. The next chord is G minor, G minor. It's like this. With the point finger on the first fret of the first string, with the middle finger on the second fret of the third string, with your link finger on the third fret of the second string. That G minor. Next chord is G minor seven. This one. With a point finger, it should be on the bottom two string of the first fret. Middle finger should be on the the second fret of the third string. That's G minor seven. So that's the old chord you need to know. Now move on to the strumming pattern of this song. Inside my cover I made, I used two types of patterns. So the first pattern is the first part. It goes like this. Okay, as an example, I'm going to use a A sharp. A sharp. Okay, this one, remember? So, so this is the one pattern down with the thumb and play top two string of with your thumb okay then up up down up okay i will tell you with the context like this that's the first strumming pattern the second one is after we carry on wherever you are goes like this so it's basically down thumb down thumb up up down down so down thumb down thumb up up down down so this is the pattern, just practice 
Okay, and then make it really fast. So this is the pattern. Now move on to the introduction part of the song. Introduction goes like this. So the first introduction part is this chord, this one, G minor 7, and play th 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, okay, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, then next chord, this one, a D sharp minor, hmm. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, and add your pinky on the third fret of the first string, play and take it off and play the first string so yeah then repeat these two chords twice okay that was the introduction part now I'm going to play the song for you Right now I'm going to remind you that you can download the chord sheet and the relics down below in the description box. So if you want you can print it out.
心から愛せる人心から愛しい人この僕の愛の真ん中にはいつも君がいるから Wherever you are I always make you smile Wherever you are I'm always by your side Wherever you say 君を思う気持ち I promise you forever right now Wherever you are Wherever you are Wherever you are Okay, I'm going to like go over the lyrics with you to get together. So, yeah, let's get started. I'm telling you, okay, I softly whisper, but okay, tonight, tonight, you're my angel, that's English, sorry, I don't have to explain, right? I see the real. This part, I see the real. So, let's pronounce together, okay? I see the real. I see the real. I see the real, okay? Yeah, you can pronounce it, right? I see the real. It means I'm loving you. Yeah, I is like love in Japanese, and stereo is like you're doing it. So I'm loving you. Yeah, you is omitted, but it's under, it's under understood, understood in a context. So next one. Oh, yeah. Futari wa hitotsu ni. Yeah, okay. I put F as futari, but. The first one should be H. Futari. Okay. Futari wa hitotsu ni. Futari wa hitotsu ni. Okay. It means two will be one. Futari means two people. And hitotsu ni means one. Okay. So we, we get together. Yeah, it means. Tonight, tonight, I just say, wherever you are, I always make you smile. Wherever you are, I'm always by your side. That's what they say. Whatever you say. Okay. Next one. So, Kimi o omo kimochi. Okay, let's pronounce it together. Kimi o omo kimochi. Kimi o omo kimochi. Okay, Kimi is like you, and o is like a particle that signifies the object of the sentence, anyway. And omo is like thinking about. Okay, and kimochi. Is feeling so kimi o omo kimochi. It means the feeling I the feeling that I have about you. Yeah, basically, it means something like that. I promise you forever, right now. That's okay. I don't need a reason. Okay, I just want you, baby. All right, all right. Day after day, that's okay. Too. Kono saki nagai koto zuto. This is a little bit hard, so let's practice. Kono saki, kono saki, okay. Nagai koto zuto. Nagai koto, zuto, zuto. Yeah, after zu, you have to stop for a second. Zuto. Okay. Let's pronounce with with you know, this sentence together. Kono saki nagai koto zuto. Okay. It means. Kono saki means afterwards. Okay. Nagai means long time. And zuto means. Mm, together, so um, le let's go long way together. Yeah. Oh yeah. Doka konna boku to zutto. Yeah. Doka konna boku to zutto. Okay. Let's pronounce it. Doka. Doka. Konna. Konna. Boku to. Boku to. Zutto. Zutto. Another zutto. Zut. And stop for a second and pronounce to after that. Zutto. Okay. Doka. It means please. And konna. Uh, like this. It means like this. And boku is like me. Yeah. The boy way of saying me. And zutto means together. So, I don't know. For, forever. Yeah. It means forever. So, 
Mm. Yeah. Please with with me. Forever. Yeah. Please. Yeah, it means. And shinu made. Shinu made. Okay, this part. Shinu made. Remember? Shinu made. Until I die. Until we die. It means, yeah, I don't know who die, but shinu made. Maybe I or we. Okay. Kimi o omo kimochi. That's the same one. I promise you forever, right now. Wherever you are, I'll never, I'll never make you cry. Wherever you are, I'll never say goodbye. Wherever you say, Kimi o omo kimochi. That's the same one again. I promise you forever, right now. Okay. The day we met. Okay. Bokura means us. Okay. And deatta means meet. And hiwa, he is like the day in Japanese. Bokura ga deatta. Dea. After a, you have to stop. For a second, de a ta hi wa. Okay, then next one, futari, futari ni tote. Futari ni tote, this part, futari ni tote. Okay, futari, you remember two people, futari ni tote, for two people. Hmm, ichiba, ichiba me no kinen subeki hi da ne. Ichiba me no kinen subeki hi da ne. Ichiba me. 一番目の記念すべき。記念すべき。Hidane. Okay. The very first um, celebrate, like the first um, the day that deserves celebration. Yeah, that's the word. Um, yeah, that it means something like that. Because the day you met is kind of special, right? Special day. Um. The next one. So shite kyo to yu hi wa. This one. So shite. So shite. So shite. Kyo to yu hi wa. Kyo to yu hi wa. Okay. Okay. Kyo to yu hi wa. Then. So shite means then. And today. Kyo is today. To yu hi wa. Not today. It means today. Futari ni totte. The same one. Futari ni totte. 2番目の記念すべき日だね the, the last one was 1番目 and this time 2番目 it means 2 is 2 so the second special day yeah for us or something like that the next one 心から愛せる人 心から愛せる人 心心から愛せる人 Kokoro means heart. Kara means from. So from heart. And I sell hito. I is like love. I told you. And selu means be able to. So you can love. Okay. Hito means person. So the person you can love from the bottom of your heart. So that's the meaning. Kokoro kara ito shi hito. Kokoro kara. Itoshi hito. Okay. Itoshi means mm, you really missing them, you really want them. Yeah, that's the meaning. Kono boku no ai no mamnaka ni wa. Okay, let's break it down. Kono boku no ai no mannaka ni wa. Kono boku no ai no mannaka ni wa. Kono boku no ai no mannaka ni wa. Okay, make it. Really fast, but anyway, kono means this. Boku no, my, ai no, uh, the loves, center. Manaka means center. Niwa, at. So at the center of my heart. Uh, itsumo kimi ga iru kara. Itsumo kimi ga iru kara. Okay? Itsumo, always. Kimi, you, are. Iru means you're there. So basically, um, at, at the center of my heart, you're always there, it means. Okay? So after that, all the relics are the same as the last one, so I will stop here. If you like this tutorial, please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>